Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to make Windows 10 look like Windows 7. Um, so this is a good method that is working as of 2021. And if you do find this helpful, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So in order to do this, what we're going to need to do is actually download a program. And you'll see once you've got this set up, if I actually click onto my start menu, you can see it looks more like the Windows 7 style. Uh, so the Windows 10 has got like little widgets and like a weather thing and stuff down here. Um, but yeah, this basically changes things around. So it's not going to affect the performance as much. It's just going to affect how your um, actual desktop looks. So it looks more like a Windows 7 um, operating system. So to do this, what we're going to do is open up a new browser and come across to Google. And then what we want to do is look for something called Classic Shell. And then you want to come to ClassicShell.net. This top result, you should have a website which looks like this. And then if you look at the top, you want to come to All Downloads. And what's going to happen, you're going to get all the versions currently out. So you've got 4.3.1, which is the latest stable version, um, in a variety of language options. So we're going to go ahead and go for English. And then what you would do is click onto that to um, download the install wizard. You would just get rid of that and then click the download button here. And you'll see that's going to start downloading in the bottom left hand corner. So once that's done, you want to open up the installer and just run through the setup wizard and get that all installed. And then when that's installed, you will want to go ahead and open it. So if you can't find it in your programs, just come down to the search bar and type classic shell. And it's going to come up with a couple of options. And what you're going to want to click on is this one, which says start menu settings. So you can see from here, this is how you actually um, change everything. So you've actually got classic style here, uh, which if I select that one and click onto my start button, it looks like this. We've got classic with two columns. So you can see again, that's changed it. Or you've got the Windows 7 style, which is this one, which looks like a um, the old school Windows 7 style. Uh, what you can also do is replace the start button, which is this Windows icon down here. So you can actually replace that with a custom image or you can um, basically change it to this one, which is the arrow symbol or just go for the classic look like this. And it gives you the look and feel of an older uh, Windows operating system. Uh, what you can also do, you've got some options at the top. So if you click onto basic settings, you can go ahead and uh, customize. So for example, left click opens nothing, classic start menu, Windows start menu, etc, etc. Uh, you've also got an option called skin, which is basically like, so this changes the style. So you can see I've set it to metallic and I've got this metallic look on the start menu. Uh, gold, that's going to change it to a more gold kind of look. You can um, basically customize this to how you want it. So that's how you would go ahead and do it. And as I say, you can have a look through all of these. There's a lot of things you can change. The taskbar, for example, you can change. So you can change that to uh, look a bit more like the Windows 7 style as well. Just like so. And yeah, you can, you can just go through all these different options and customize it to look how you want, really. So um, that, that's the best program I found uh, to be able to emulate Windows 7. And I hope you did find that helpful. If that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.